It's Miss Sassy Cat Story Time. Meow. Achoo! Good manners can be contagious. By Mitch Kelly and Mary McQuillan. This is the story of Susie Sue and the fateful day when she went achoo! Her friends who knew all the social graces and didn't like germs being spat in their faces cried, Susie Sue, please, 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 cover your mouth if you're going to sneeze. I'm ever so sorry, said Susie Sue. I just didn't know that's what I should do. Well, that raised a rumpus. She hasn't a clue. The child's got no matters. Was she born in a zoo? <laughs> it's true, said the cow. She's horribly rude, but that doesn't mean she can't be improved. If we teach her the rules, I'm sure we can save her from a life of bad manners and ghastly behavior. Rule number one is don't be disgusting. Well, look whose manners need some adjusting. This dog is not doing anything right. He's grotty, he's snotty, his stench causes fright. Oof. Take a bath and brush your teeth. Learn to use a handkerchief. If you've got a runny nose, Please don't wipe it on your clothes. Rule number two is don't eat like a pig. Look at them slurping. They don't care a bit. Surely they know it's revolting and rude to wallow about like that in your food. Wash your hands before you eat. Don't stand in your dinner. Sit in your seat. Try not to burp and whatever you do, keep your mouth shut when you chew. Rule number three is do not fight. Some people can't tell what's wrong from what's right. Just look at these cats. They lack poise. They lack charm. They're a social disaster. A disgrace to the farm. Say please and thank you. Always play fair. And whatever you do, share, share, share. That's it said the cow. Those are the rules. Three pearls of wisdom, absolute jewels. Don't stink like a dog or eat like a pig. Don't fight like a cat. It's not clever or big. The cats and pigs were up in arms. So were their friends from other farms. They spoiled our game of tug of war. Cows are we rude. don't like them anymore. They ruined our family. They made us cry. Yeah. I really don't smell, do I? Oof. Look what you've done, said Susie Sue. Your friends are really mad at you. You hurt their feelings. You were cruel. You broke the most important rule. The golden rule is always do what you'd like others to do to you. That means be kind, said Susie Sue. Remember, they've got feelings too. When you told me I smelled bad, you made me feel really sad. Oh darn, said the sheep. We can't tell the dog he's a horrible, stinky, filthy old slob. But maybe we can give him hints, like a bubble bath or peppermints. If you're kind, said Susie Sue, people sometimes learn from you. You pushed me around. Can't you see? You can't teach me manners by bullying me. Botheration, said the horse. We can't make pigs change by using force. But if we make sure that we're polite, they'll copy us and get it right. If you're kind, said Susie Sue, people will be kind to you. You chopped our tug of war in two. We never want to speak to you. Meow. Oh dear, said the goat. We made a mistake. Though with cats, such mistakes are easy to make. But if we're sorry and make amends, maybe we, we can, can all, all be friends. friends. Meow. After that, things were sweet and light. They all helped each other to be polite. The pig sipped from teacups. The dog took a shower. The cat skipped around, handing out flowers. And when they gave one to Susie uh, Sue... Ah, uh, ah, uh. Would you like a hanky? Yes, thank you. 
You'd never believe she was born in a zoo. <laughs> the end. This was a chew. Good manners can be contagious. By Mitch Kelly and Mary McQuillan. Thanks for watching Miss Sassy Cat Storytime. Please hit that subscribe button. If you liked this book, then give the video a thumbs up. You can click the links in the description below for more information on how to support our channel and this author.